This is Coquitlam Mayor Richard Stewart. And so I'm here to make a plug for getting rid of the plugs and flushing only the stuff that's meant to be flushed. That was in 2019 when Stewart was the chair of Metro Vancouver's Liquid Waste Committee. And it's what his city manager did while he was in charge of that committee that has Coquitlam in, well, Boo. Unfortunately, it's in the middle of a legal uh, matter, and I am uh, somewhat unable to comment. So what is Stuart talking about? And what is legal matter that could cost taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars throughout the region? It all has to do with the wastewater plant, which deals with the things dancing behind Stuart. Metro Vancouver hired Akiona to build one in North Vancouver. This new plant will become part of Metro Vancouver's network of wastewater treatment plants built to protect public health and the environment. But it was going over budget and it wasn't meeting target deadlines. So the Metro board had a meeting, went over the evidence and decided to fire them. Richard Stewart had that evidence via a secure username and password. He gave the city manager, Peter Steplin, that username and password. Yeah. Now, it's not uncommon for mayors to share confidential information about regional issues with their top staffer. Except Steplin's daughter worked for Akiona. Steplin had the confidential information open on his computer. And it's alleged that his daughter took pictures of the information and shared it within the company before they were officially told about the firing. Now, this information became public a month ago and it resulted in headlines everywhere. But the response from Coquitlam? I'm frustrated as well um, because I would love to be able to describe this more fully because it's not as it's being uh, portrayed. According to court filing, Steplin told Coquitlam the leak happened when he left the room. And a month before the lawsuit became public, he decided to retire. But that's really all we know at this point. The city's handling of confidential information is implicated in dueling lawsuits worth $750 million. And the only public response has been the quiet retirement of the person at the center. The senior MLA for Coquitlam is asking why. But the answer may lie in its political culture. Coquitlam doesn't have a party system. Their councillors rarely disagree. It means consistent governance, but also where public conflict isn't part of the DNA. You don't tend to get people spouting off or you know blowing their top i would think if you were in a, a place that where things were more divisive certainly there would probably be a lot more going on in other words coquitlam is boring which often in politics can be a good thing but if a city needs greater scrutiny sometimes the place can be too boring for its own good